Thank you for staying with us. It's time now to take a look at stories making headlines on the front page of Nigerian newspapers. And I begin with the Daily News Hub. A major story here. Still talking about the Bornu attacks. 24 female suicide bombers still prowling in Guza. Authorities cry out. And the riders there confirm four exploded Saturday. Two arrested Sunday. Military imposes curfew in Guza local government headquarters. And another story here, NDLEA intercepts 7.35 billion naira kudin consignments in Port Harcourt as to excrete 150 cocaine wraps in Lagos. Operatives arrest 60 at Abuja Drug Party. Nikimudia's death, not, not suicide, says family. And uh, missing 100 billion naira dirty notes come clean now, Sarah charges CBN. Governor, these are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Daily News Hub. And to this Nigeria newspaper now, Bornu Day of Insanity, how teenage bombers killed pregnant women, children. Purveyors of wanton violence will pay a price. That's what the president has vowed to do. And... Uh, only 220 trained psychiatrists in Nigeria, says a report. Uh, that's quite worrisome. And at the top corner, NDLEA raids Abuja Drug Party arrests 60, intercepts 7.3 billion naira quitting consignment in Lagos. All right. Those are some of the stories you find on the front page of this Nigeria newspaper. To the Daily Times now. Bornu bomb attacks, purveyors of wanton violence will pay heavy price. Uh, President Bola Tinubu is quoted as saying, and the riders there says federal government would allow Nigeria to slitter into air our fears, tears, sorrow, blood. NSGF condemns Goza suicide attack. Tinubu responsible for resurgence of terrorism in North East, says Atiku. And uh, the picture there is one of the victims of the multiple suicide bomb attack on Goza town, Bornu State, and that led to the loss of lives. And then another story, there'll be peace across Nigeria in foreseeable future. As the writer there uh, seeks Nigerians continued support for the army to enable it to address insecurity. Chief of Army Staff speaking. And then another story, NIMED launches e-learning platform for greater collaboration, global opportunities. And those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Daily Times. To the Blueprint newspaper, purveyors of Goza bomb attack will pay heavy price. Tinubu assures Northern Governor's rally support and may harps on God's grace. Atiku condemns attack, urges drastic action. Another story here. Uh, Serap to CBN account for missing 100 billion naira dirty notes, other funds. At the downstrip, Nigeria requires 8 to 10 percent GDP growth for sustainability. Adebaju speaking. And Kenya protest, no blood on my hands. Rutu insists. Those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the Blueprint newspaper. And to the leadership newspaper now, still talking about the new bomb attacks. Nigeria won't slide into era of fear. Tinubu vows, says terrorists will pay heavy price. Let's not return to theater of terrorism, Atiku wants. Northern governors, U.S. government condemn attacks. Death toll rises to 21 as security operatives arrest two female bombers. Another story here. Uniben cries out over 280 million naira monthly electricity bill. And uh, another story, family debunks Olu Jacobs' death rumor. Minimum wage lawyers back NLC say uh, FEC, that's the Federal Executive Council, can't negotiate for workers. Right? And those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the leadership newspaper. To the new Telegraph now, uh, this is taking a different dimension. Cholera spreads to Kirikiri Correctional Center, afflicts 25 inmates. Katsina records 118 suspected cases. 
Lagos State Government links outbreak to unregulated beverages contaminated water. And uh, another writer there, as experts blame it on poor funding, maintenance, culture. And in security, federal government staying posture emboldening terrorists in North East. That's a Tiku being quoted as saying that. And from Northern Governors Forum to Regional Zonal Governors Forum, an ending rise of political power blocks. At the corner there, why National Assembly must do more to assuage people suffering uh, by lawyers. And those are some of the stories you find on the front page of the new Telegraph. And to the first news newspaper, regional governments will fail without tackling corruption. Archbishop Kaigama speaking. And uh, Buhari's government shielded ex-governors uh, $200 million offshore asset from prosecution, Ubonobla reveals. And uh, another story here. Lagos State's cholera fight yields result. No deaths in last uh, 72 hours. Mm -hmm. UK cab driver confesses, I still get paid as a civil servant in Nigeria. House terrorists stormed Abuja communities, killed one, kidnapped four. As some of the stories you find on the front page of the first news newspaper. Lamide. And I begin here with uh, the nation. A feature story here says how federal government's one trillion dollar stimulus package will reflate the economy, experts are saying. Uh, the writer there says NAFDAQ DG Hill's executive order on drugs, pharmaceutical consumables, manufacturing. Government orders IPPIS payroll update to curb salary fraud. And um, eight are killed in suicide. Suicide attack at Bronu Wedding. In Obomo Shoshong, Chief Imam field uh, deepens as court restrains Monak. And on the bottom strip, uh, NERC transfers regulatory oversight to Emo. The story is making the front page of uh, the nation to Nigerian News Direct. Unemployment crisis fuels crime, mental illness, as Nigerians anticipate federal government's annual 2.5 million jobs target. Rather, there says we need jobs and not empty promises. Frustrated graduates cry out. Fake recruitment agencies exploit desperate job seekers in Nigeria. Bandits abduct for Q1 in Abuja community. And on the cholera outbreak, Lagos records zero death in 72 hours, 25 cases in Kirikiri. And outside uh, Nigeria on uh, the Kenya protest, I have no blood on my hands, uh, the president, uh, William Ruto, is uh, saying. Uh, the story is making the front uh, page of uh, Nigeria News Direct. To the punch, bang plane grounded as federal government clamps down on private jets. Rather, there says aircraft stopped from flying over alleged uh, 1.9 billion are unpaid import duties. United States, UN condemn uh, Borunun bombing. President Tinubu vows to crush Boko Haram. Suspected herders hack uh, Ogurai's farmer to death. And a uh, police guard Rivers Hospital treating explosion suspect. And on uh, the top left, uh, federal government withdraws uh, five oil blocks from 2024 bid round. Uh, Senate resumes probe as AGF submits 30 trillion naira loan documents. Outreach as UK based uh, driver remains of federal government's payroll. The story is making uh, the front page of uh, the punch to the national economy. Uh, Nigeria's public debt ballooned by 118 trillion naira in uh, 25 years. The rather, there says military handed over 3.37 trillion debt stock in 1999. Now 121.67 trillion naira. Improve on quality of assets created with the debt, experts uh, tell government. Federal government disposes uh, 1.5 billion naira to producers for movie, uh, movie projects. And uh, Nigeria gets World Bank's $45.5 million fund for ID4D projects. The story is making 
uh, the front page of a national economy to the Guardian. Empty ATMs dot uh, Metropolis as uh, banks trade cash with POS operators. Uh, Mayhem looms in the north over hardship. Lookman once you can find that on uh, page uh, 45 of uh, the Guardian. How Buhari government failed to recover $69 billion looted funds. Bono Bia alleges an endless uh, communal conflict worsening food insecurity, hunger in uh, Cross River states. And the LEA NAP 60 at Abuja drug party destroys 18,632 kilograms of cannabis in a door forest and refineries to begin operations before January. Senate assures. Uh, the story is making the front page of the Guardian. So the Daily Independent, Burton Coy's uh, face integrity issues, accused of harvesting users' data. Uh, you find that on uh, uh, page uh, 25 of uh, Daily Independent. Sarab gives CBN seven days to account for missing 100 billion naira dirty notes. And on uh, the Bruno attack, Atiku blames the federal government's posture to hold firmly on the front line. On the cholera outbreak, uh, outbreak in Kirikiri prison, 25 inmates affected. Uh, NDLA intercept 7.3 billion naira codeine consignment. And uh, a feature story on uh, the aviation industry, how Nigeria's rating dropped 25% in uh, ICAO security audits. The story is making the front page of uh, the Daily Independent to the inquirer. Trade more estate, estate uh, inside a major tragedy waiting to happen. Rather, there says uh, one year after being declared disaster zone, resident defy FCTA. Why our hands are still tired, says uh, Wene Jeme. One killed, four kidnapped as bandits renew onslaught in Abuja. President Chinubu, aware of economic hardship, says uh, FCT Minister Nisong Wiki. FCT 27 states failed to access 36 billion naira UBC grant and uh, two rescued from building collapse in Abuja. So the story is on uh, the front page of the Inquirer. So the Nature News, a probe palm oil levy revenue in a CBN since Obasan just tenure. Ex Speaker Dugare says Nigeria can make 16.2 trillion in uh, five years. On the food crisis, medical doctor warns on danger of rotten tomatoes consumption. Rainstorm destroys over 50 houses in uh, Yobi State. On uh, the bottom strip, ECOWAS helps on integrated water resources management for regional growth. And Gumbi government uh, distributes input to 125,000 farmers once against diversion. The story is making the front page of Nature News. And finally, on uh, the sport in life, Switzerland stunned Italy to reach quarterfinals. And on page two of uh, Sport in Life, Man City, uh, Liverpool won't uh, produce. No office for Simen. Napoli waiting for Chelsea, Man United, PSG bids. 10 million euros annual wages, not feasible long term for Italians. And um, Falcons open camp in Spain, July 24. These are the major stories on uh, the front page of the Sporting Life, Veronica. Mm, absolutely. Um, so far, it's still the matter of uh, the suicide bomb attacks uh, in uh, Borneo that's dominating uh, the papers this morning, but there are also some other stories that perhaps we might just quickly uh, touch on. There's still the matter of uh, the minimum wage where lawyers are backing NLC saying the Federal Executive Council can negotiate for workers uh, as it is. And there's also uh, this uh, confession of a UK cab driver who mm. says that he still gets paid as a civil servant. Remember that in Nigeria, remember that the president has said that those who are still getting their salaries uh, from Nigeria, do they have left the country that uh, he will clamp down on them as it is. And this person has come out clean to say that well, he still gets it. So 
Our due diligence obviously hasn't been done, where some people just leave and nobody knows that uh, they actually traveled or left the country. Well, due uh, diligence <laughs> has not been done, uh, like you say. Uh, we also spoke to uh, a stakeholder in the civil service, and she also you know, acknowledged some of these uh, gaps that you see in uh, the civil service today. And uh, for that individual to have come out, I guess uh, Nigerians are changing to an extent. <laughs> I know where you are going. Let's leave uh, it there. Okay. Let's <laughs>